Hello class and welcome to the very first episode of Cooking with Winnie the Morgan. Today we will be making my very own homemade matcha milk tea with tapioca pearls. Alright, first things first, you are going to want to have a pot, a stirring spoon, one cup, a quarter cup, and a tablespoon and a teaspoon, a teacup or something to um, heat up water in, a bowl, of course your cup, a straw, and a blender or whatever you're going to use. You're just going to need a blender, whether it's a magic bullet, a ninja bullet, or just a regular old blender. Next for our actual ingredients, um, you're going to want to have matcha powder, the real kind, of course, not just flavored powder or, you know, got to get the good matcha powder. Brown sugar, I don't make homemade tapioca, so I just buy it at the store, ice, and I forgot to include it in this clip, but you're also going to want your milk of choice. Alrighty, first thing you're going to want to do is add three cups of water to a pot. Um, this is a single serving. Um, usually if I make like two servings, I double everything. Um, it kind of, it really does come down to what you like and what tastes good to you. So some of the steps, um, you can alter, but yeah. Next, you're going to want to put this on at medium high heat, um, and wait for that to boil. And don't be like me and accidentally turn on the wrong burner. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> Um, this is the one you're going to want to have a bowl and a spoon close by. And we're just going to wait for that to boil. And then once that starts boiling, we're going to add a quarter cup of the tapioca pearls. Again, if you make this um, homemade or if you just buy it, you're going to want a quarter cup. So I really have an obsession with tapioca pearls, so I like to over measure. <laughs> but it's up to you on how much you like, if you like extra or only a little bit. That part is kind of up to you, um, but I just stick with a quarter cup. And there's my thumbs up, as always. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that our water is boiling, we're going to go ahead and add in the tapioca. Um, I like to put it in and then I give it a couple stirs so that way they don't stick together. Um, and we're just going to let that boil for about 15 minutes. You do not touch the heat. Leave it on medium high and let it boil for 15 minutes. Um, I usually stir it every like two minutes or so. Um, but you don't want to be, you don't want to leave it alone and you don't want to be stirring it constantly. I just do it every couple minutes. I go back to stir it. Once that is done boiling, I'm just going to prepare an ice bath, so I'll just add ice cubes and some cold water to a bowl. And then I'm just going to go ahead and using that slotted spoon, I'm going to drain the um, tapioca pearls into the ice bath. And then I'll just toss the water in the sink, but I'm going to put that pot aside because we are going to use it again. Usually I let my tapioca pearls um, rest until the ice has melted, or you can just let it rest for about five minutes until they've completely cooled. Next I'm going to take that same pot and I'm going to add three quarter cups of water. And then this is up to you, up to taste, I add three tablespoons of brown sugar. You can add more or less depending on how sweet you want it or it really is kind of a trial and error. Next I'm going to stir that until the water has dissolved and then once that is done I'm going to go ahead and add in my pearls. The pearls are drained of course. Um, I just drain them in the sink and then I pour the pearls into the pot with the brown sugar mix. I'm going to give that a nice stir to get everything coated and then I'll put it back on the heat at medium high again and I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. I don't really stir this one, I kind of let it sit. Um, I'll probably stir it like once at 5 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and prepare about a quarter cup of water and a little teacup with it in the microwave for about a minute. At 
Then I'm gonna add that boiled water into a cup. I'm gonna add three teaspoons of my matcha powder, throw, on, um, throw that on the blender, and I'm just gonna let that go for uh, about 30 seconds. Once that 10 minute timer is off, I'm going to pour the whole thing, sugar mix and all, into a bowl. And then I'm just gonna put that to the side. And then as my blender is going, I'm gonna go ahead and slowly add the oat milk um, down the side. Um, I don't want my hot water to get cooled by the milk. So that's why you wanna pour it pretty slowly down the side and kind of like trickle it in because I like my boba to like kind of have like that um I don't like it to be like ice cold you know what I mean so yeah look at that that looks so cool but yeah I pour about that much <laughs> I don't know the measurements of how much milk I add <laughs> um and I'm gonna put that back on the blender next I'm gonna grab my ice again and I also got these straws. I got a bunch of different colors off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description as well. They are on dishwasher safe. Um, so yeah, once that's done blending, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the whole thing into my little cup that I have. Next, I'm going to use that same slotted spoon and I'm going to drain some of the tapioca um, into the cup. Depending on how sweet you want it, again, it all depends on you. I take a tablespoon and I just scoop in some of that brown sugar syrup, water, whatever. Um, until it's about the sweetness that I like. I usually do about four scoops and it's pretty good to me. And of course, always taste and add more or less depending on what you like. I don't like it to be overly sweet. Always, 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 always add the um, ice in last. So I'm just gonna put in a couple cubes and yeah, you're pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Let me know if you make it and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.